All right, uh, Brian Brzee from Clemson is next, and a yeah. uh, five-star recruit. So he came with the goods, and sort of like Trevor Lawrence, who was immediately a, a star in college, but he had a little hiccup with the torn ACL. Uh, yeah. So he's had to rebound from that. Uh, he's also appeared to be more, and again, this might be statistically, but he seems to be ahead of the game more on the run defensive side yeah. as opposed to a pass rusher. So where does he fit in as a top 10 pick? Top 10 pick. Uh, I, I, I can't see him escaping the top 10 unless something he, weird happens with the quarterbacks, right? If, if all of a sudden you're getting four or five quarterbacks coming into the top 10, maybe that would bump him out because I think he's like borderline top 10. But uh, yeah, ACC rookie of the year, five-star recruit. He started off on the top and everyone immediately said, hey, this is going to be a future pro. Maybe put some unrealistic expectations on him. Then he tore the ACL. Then he had some personal issues that were pretty well documented this past fall. Um, you know, so you don't want to put too much credence into some of the shortcomings that I saw on tape. Um, coming back from the injury and then also just knowing some of the issues that he'd been through uh, because there were a few that would worry me a little bit. Uh, but with that said, and they, they revolve around uh, pad level, lower body strength and power. I think he's a very top heavy player, which is okay. But the NFL seems to take advantage of that against the run. And if you're going to draft him to be a, an elite run defender with pass rush upside, that would concern me a little bit. Um, but you know, when you're talking about the tools, the speed, he runs in the four sixes at 310 pounds. I mean, that's just ridiculous with that kind of size and a good kid. He's got enough production on tape. He's a good football player. Uh, the medicals, I think, would be important. And I would want to know, you know, if I ever got him in a room, I, I would want to know how much that recovery, how long that recovery took him. Okay. Uh, it's one thing if an ACL happens to a, a, a 200 pound, 190 pound wide receiver. But a long-limbed, 310-pound defensive tackle, that could, that it just takes longer to recover from. And he's a guy that relies on speed quickness. And he just looked like a little lethargic. And his pad level got a little too high. That always tells me is there an issue with the lower body. So that would be one thing I would just want to do a little bit more digging in on it okay. if I were considering taking him. 